Hello. Thank you. Um, tonight, Billboard honors George Harrison with his highest accolade as he becomes the first recipient of the Century Award. I've been asked to share a few thoughts on George, which is fair enough as he's given me so many thoughts. George Harrison makes me think of the fabulous Beatles arriving like a vision to an entire generation of girls screaming, music better than you can dream of coming out of every radio. It makes me think of uh, rockabilly solos and Gretsch guitars and Carl Perkins and Beethoven rolling over. It makes me smell incense and hear an Indian orchestra. I think of the inner light and a seeker and a joker and how the further one travels, the less one knows. I get thoughts of the concert for Bangladesh and the first seeds of rock as a community, helping the less fortunate. Makes me think of successful artists who don't get lazy, but rather remain true to themselves and challenge us with their work. I think of many great sounds and someone singing, think for yourself, and a guitar gently weeping as war raged on. And I think how all things must pass, I hear slide guitars in harmony. I think of a dark horse and sore throats, the Jim Keltner fan club. I think of the movies George put on the screen, like Life of Brian, Time Bandits, and Mona Lisa. And I think of my friend, and smile behind the amps, of a man who loves a good garden, a Dylan song, car races, and the occasional naughty chord. I think of Cloud Nine and the Brothers Wilbury, Friar Park with Bing Crosby singing Sweet Lalani, but mostly I think of a disarming innocence and a nearly painful honesty. Tonight's honoree could not be more deserving of this award, perhaps because he knows the real awards must come from one's own soul, and his music is nothing but soul music. Let's watch the film. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a great honor to introduce George Harrison. Well, excuse me, but when I first heard about this award... Thank you, sit down. Well, when I first heard about this Century Award, I thought it was me that was 100 years old. Uh, I feel like it sometimes. But anyway, I found out it was actually Billboard magazine that was 100 years. But I'd like to say that, uh, I mean, all this flattery is difficult for me to take without saying that <clears throat> I've been very fortunate to have such good friends and influences on my career, if you would call it a career, because I haven't really uh, dealt with it as some people deal with their careers. It's been quite haphazard in many ways. But I would like to say thanks to some of these people. Thank you. Well, I can just say that being a Beatle was certainly no hindrance on my career. And John, Paul and Ringo obviously deserve plenty of thanks. As does my old friend Eric Clapton, who for 26 years gave me a lot of support and his friendship. And then many years ago, I was also very fortunate to meet the great Indian musician Ravi Shankar, who had an uh, incredible amount of influence on me. He not only opened my eyes to more spiritual music, but he helped me to look inwards so I could find out who I really am. I'm still trying to find that out. Also, it was actually Ravi Shankar's idea to do um, what 
evolved into the concert for Bangladesh. And so whatever praise uh, people put on me for, for what happened because of that show, it was really Ravi's idea, and all I was doing was trying to assist him in getting something that seemed to need to be done at that time. Anyway, that concert really helped to encourage similar other kind of benefits, uh, good charitable causes, and obviously it's good that now people just accept charity and that kind of thing, that we can all help each other and less fortunate. Anyway, the band that made me remember how much fun it was to re play rock and roll and record the Travelling Wilburys. I'd love to thank them. <laughs> Jeff Lynn and Bob Dylan and Roy Orbison and, of course, Tom Petty. And last but not least, I would like to thank Billboard who gave me this because obviously somebody has been following my career and it's very nice of them and uh, the staff of Billboard and the editor, Timothy White, for being so kind to me and giving me this very first Century Award and I'm sure there'll be many more great recipients of this in the years to come. Thank you all very much.